Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a what I eat in a day video. Many of you guys know that I do the faster rate of fat loss, which means I do intermittent fasting and carb cycling. So I got up this morning, had a cup of coffee with a little bit of almond milk. I worked out, now I'm heading to the office. It is 10 o'clock, so I have a couple hours before I will actually eat my first meal of the day. So stay tuned. So one of the nice things about the wing is that they actually have showers and amenities so you can get ready for your day there. So I'll go to the gym, I'll go to the wing, I'll work, then I will go and grab some lunch. So I'm going to life a lot. I've got a little bit of time today. Afterwards, I'll be running back home to relieve the nanny and then I'll be with Tommy and Connor for the rest of the day. So you're gonna hear them in the background. So usually I wait until noon to eat lunch. Sometimes it's sooner, sometimes it's later. Life Alive is one of my favorite restaurants in Boston. It is a completely vegetarian restaurant. This here is the Rainbow Harvest Bowl. It's one of my favorites. It has kale, broccoli, carrots. Uh, it also has tofu, um, legume, sprouted legumes, whipped sweet potato, and I get it with falafel. Uh, it has the best ginger tamari sauce, which is basically just like a gluten-free soy sauce, but it is so, so good. I would eat it every day if I could. So I do intermittent fasting. I would say most days of the week, unless I wake up and I don't feel great, maybe I had too much to drink the night before, or I'm getting sick. Um, I try to really listen to my body and see how I feel. Most days I'm honestly not hungry and I don't actually have the time to eat breakfast. So I'm pretty content with just my morning cup of coffee. I do add almond milk, um, a little bit of unsweetened vanilla. Um, I make sure that it is uh, under 50 calories. I didn't go grocery shopping this week because I knew I had purple carrot coming for dinner and I had plenty of stuff for the kids. So really the only thing I needed to go grocery shopping for was my lunch. So I took advantage and I went and got lunch at Life Alive. So continuing with our eating out trend, I had a quick appointment and afterwards I stopped at FOMU and this is a chai latte made with almond milk delicious so I'm definitely not a vegan um, but unintentionally today is kind of like a vegan day I tried to eat a plant-based diet I think it's better for my health I think it's better for the planet is it realistic to do all the time 24 7 for me it's not but I do try to do it when I can when it's convenient um, and when it tastes good one of my go-to snacks uh, is always been nuts. Um, these here are just roasted cashews, lightly salted from Trader Joe's. We always have a bag on hand. I find that snacking on things like nuts help keep my sweet tooth at bay because it kind of satisfies them without using added sugar. So this week we got Purple Carrot. Um, they are a vegan plant-based meal delivery service. Yeah. You, can, you can get them as uh, servings for two people or for a family. We have tofu edamame dumplings, beluga lentil tacos, and a green doll. I'm gonna show you guys our dinner tonight. I'm so excited. This is what the edamame dumplings look like. Here is what the other options would have been. Yes, Connor. Oh, I almost got this. Kind of wish I had now. Um, and here's the green doll. Nick really likes Indian food, so I got this for him. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna be making the tofu edamame dumplings from our purple carrot box. This is a real what I eat in a day video because I make dinner. After Tommy eats, but before he goes to bed. And then I eat it after he goes down. And I can't edit him out of this room. So here I am. So this recipe was shockingly really easy to make. I did not realize how easy it was to make dumplings. I feel kind of silly even saying that out loud. Um, basically, I just pureed tofu with some edamame and some seasoning in my little blender. 
and then you just wet your fingers and you create the dumplings. This here was a side. There's a little bit of rice vinegar in here as well as shredded carrots and broccoli. This meal was a winner. We absolutely loved this and I definitely am going to try to duplicate, make this again on my own. I love purple carrot because I honestly don't have a lot of time to go grocery shopping as I mentioned earlier and that makes dinner boring because I'm usually just using what's on hand. But when I do purple carrot, I'm making something exciting, something that tastes good and I'm kind of learning new cooking techniques as I go as well. We aren't a vegan family, but we do try to eat more plant-based meals. And that's why I really like Purple Carrot because it introduces us on different flavors, different textures, different foods we didn't know how to use. Uh, we got one kit that had jackfruit in it and that was really fun. So if you guys are interested, definitely check out the $30 off on your first subscription. Purple Carrot also offers extras. You can add in extra breakfast, lunches, or dinners to your dinner subscription every Every week. Um, I used to always have something sweet at the end of the night. Uh, now I try not to have that stuff in the house because if I do, the boys will want it. I really don't eat much of it anymore. Um, usually I will have a glass of wine while I'm cooking dinner and if I do want something after dinner, I'll probably just have another glass. Um, if I do have like dark chocolate um, peanut butter cups around and I get a Trader Joe's, um, I'll have those. Um, if you like this video, let me know. I would love to share more what I eat in a day videos with you guys if it's what you want. I'm Sarah and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Often includes nuts.